guys to the Spurgeon Piper. This is Wilson with you. So our tobacco review today is GLP's Chelsea Morning. And this is a unique review that I'm covering because number one, I think some of you already know how I feel about this blend. I, I've mentioned it several times. I actually used to have a review on it and I just took it down because it was one of my early reviews and it, the production value was really low. Hence why I'm doing it again. But secondly, Usually in my reviews, I let you know at the end how I view the blend, um, if how I rate it, things like that. Well, I'm letting you know up front. Um, it's my favorite blend out of all blends. It's my top number one blend. It's my go-to every day. And I think it's one of the best beginner's blends. So I know that's subjective. And I know some of you guys who are veterans, you probably would disagree for good reasons, but just it's subjective, right? Uh, bear that in mind. That's it's just a personal opinion. But I want to get into why, at the end of the video, why I think beginners, it's a great one for you to pick up. But first, let's get some information on the blend. So uh, getting off of TobaccoReviews.com, we get a description, and it tells us that, that it's made of sweet red and bright Virginias, fragrant orientals, a bit of rich cypress latakia, and just a pinch of perique. The leaf is blended in layers, briefly pressed, then sliced and tumbled into ribbons. Lively and engaging with a subtle fruitiness and an elegant creamy texture. It's a great bowl to accompany the morning cup, which I definitely agree with that. Uh, and then there is a note saying that Chelsea Morning was introduced in October 2009. Um, just going a little further on this, it is part of the old London series, which is a series in GLP's lines of blends uh, that uses a older fashioned traditional way of blending. And I am a huge fan of this line of blends that he puts out. Nearly every one of them gets high marks by me. So just a little side note there. Uh, it's brand obviously is GLP's, he blends it. It's manufactured by c and It's an English blend. Um, the flavoring is none. Uh, the cut is ribbon, which we're gonna get a look at that here in a moment. The packaging does come in two and eight ounce tins and you can find those in the United States quite readily available. I've never seen them really out of stock so much. And currently, as of May 12th, 2022, they are $12.11 at both smokingpipes.com, tobaccopipes.com, and pipesandcigar.com. So you can check out those sources. I'm always going to encourage you to look for a local brick and mortar store to pick up your, uh, your tin and support them for sure. So with that information there, let's go ahead and get a look at the blend. Well, here we are with Chelsea Morning, and i just let you know up front, I'm near the end of my mason jar, and so it's going to have smaller bits than usual. Uh, if you buy a fresh tin, it's going to be uh, containing a bit chunkier bits, like a broken flake, so bear that in mind. It is a mix between a, a ribbon cut and a kind of a broken flake, uh, or a, a uh, rubbed out flake, so just, just bear that in mind, doesn't really make much of a difference. Um, but you can see the various contents, the lighter Virginia, uh, some of the reds that look similar to the, uh, to the orientals in there, and then the darker bits of, of Latakia and Perique. So it's, it's quite a, a, a mixture here of, of various components. Uh, it's not your typical straightforward light English blend. Uh, but it comes on the drier side, though not enough where I need to rehydrate it by no means. Uh, so just bear that in mind. All right, so I have it currently loaded up in my Irish Harp 69, one of my favorite pipes. Um, it's, it's one I hold to strongly. And I have it loaded up. I've been smoking it for a while. And I tell you, usually I have notes along to uh, go off of just to make sure I'm touching every base. But I've smoked pounds of this stuff over... The years and so i don't really have many notes if any at all with me um, i'm just going off of what i've always enjoyed about it and then i'll get into some recommendations of similar blends for you uh, so let me go ahead and light it up again so this blend is definitely a, a mild and medium English blend, right? So we're not talking about quiet nights. We're not talking about nightcap. Uh, 
you know, plum pudding, I guess, is about medium, but it's, it's on the lower or lighter end of English blends, but it's full flavored. So we think light, we think less flavor, but that's not the case with this blend. It is full flavored. Um, you can definitely tell, obviously, that it, it is a English blend. The Latakia smokiness is there. And the one thing I want to mention, one of my favorite things about this blend, and one of my favorite things about the Old London series blends that GLPs puts out, is that it has a tar-like note to it. I mentioned this with Quiet Nights, and I don't know what exactly that is. All right, I'm not the only one who's talked about this, by the way. I think there's some, someone else out there who's mentioned it. But I like it. And it doesn't sound good, but I love that about the, the Latakia. It, it offers this tar-like notes. Um, it just feels old-fashioned or tastes old-fashioned. So the Latakia is, is evident. It's not strong. Um, it's just the constant uh, of the blend. I would say it's more evident than like early morning pipe. So if you've had early morning pipe, and I know many of you have, I would say this is a bit stronger than early morning pipe when it comes to Latakia. But along with the Latakia, and this is, goes into the balance of the blend for me, the Virginias are just as evident. And in fact, what's even more evident than some other blends, light English blends, is the red Virginias are evident, and they offer this great sweet note. Um, it is a, a, a dark fruitiness that Red Virginias are known for, right? Um, and, and that's evident throughout the blend. So dark fruity, uh, raisiny, uh, you know, a dark, darker plum. And some of that interplay is also coming from the Perique. And the Perique is, is just perfect, um, which makes this blend more unique than some other lighter English blends. Uh, the Perique offers a consistent, like, spiciness, but it's not strong. Like, this is not your typical Perique blend. Um, it offers more of its flavor than a spiciness, I would probably say. Uh, but it's consistent in that, and it helps accentuate the, the blends, or, uh, excuse me, the flavors of the, the other components. Kind of like salt does for meat. I, I would describe it that way. So the darker fruity notes, the plum notes, they're, they're all there. Um, I don't taste so much of the lighter Virginia notes, and I'm okay with that because I'm a red Virginia guy. I'm a darker Virginia fan. Mm. The Orientals, they have their own kind of spiciness, uh, but more floral is what I get, and, and they're quite balanced with the rest. Um, I think they do offer their own bits of sweetness though oriental is usually not a real sweet uh, a sweet leaf by no means but all just well balanced um, throughout the bowl it's consistent uh, it's a great blend that can be smoked morning evening or just midday and i smoke it all those times of day. I'll, I'll, I'll smoke them anytime. Um, I do love it though in the morning, especially it does go great, great with a cup of coffee. But uh, this offers a sweetness that the other lighter English blends I, I don't find so much. And then it offers the Perique as well. And I, and I love that as a combination. Similar blends. Um, if you wanted to, to uh, compare it to something else, uh, the two blends that come to mind are John Cotton number one, which is even lighter than this. It's lighter than Early Morning Pipe. And then Early Morning Pipe itself. Uh, those two blends come close. Um, but uh, they they are without per the Perique, obviously. And so bear that in mind. Uh, but they do come um, closer to this blend. Uh, but yes, I, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of this. This is like a 9.5, 10 out of 10 for me. Um, that's how highly I view it. Now, beginners, why do I think this is a blend for you? Uh, well, number one, I think it offers a sweetness that we long for when we get into pipe smoking. Uh, I think that's why a lot of guys get into aromatic, right? Uh, they they want to taste something sweet. Not all English blends offer a good solid sweetness. They're mostly smoky because of the Latakia, and they're, uh, the, 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 the Virginia blends can be kind of uh, hidden behind the Latakia. I don't think that happens here. So I think you will get that sweetness that we kind of look for in a, in a smoke when we first get started. Number two, it smokes so coolly, and I like that. Because it is 
well balanced. Uh, the red Virginias are not too hot. Uh, there's not a lot of white, bright Virginia content and the Latakia keeps things cool. I like that about this blend. So I think that's another reason why. And then three, it's readily available. Uh, this is this is a blend that you're not gonna find really out of stock so much, especially online. And so it's something you can get to and come back to over and over again without being concerned. Oh, is it gonna leave the market? Uh, I don't think there's any high chance of that happening. And so it's something you can depend on. And uh, so that's why it's one of my main go-tos for recommending to new pipe smokers. Getting used to a blend that's cool, offer some sweetness, and something they can grab over and over. So guys, that is all I have to say about this blend. I can't speak highly enough of it. Uh, to each his own, obviously. Some people really don't like English blends, but if you do, you just gotta try it. Um, I, I, I think you'll at least be pleased. You may not think as highly as I do about it, but you probably will enjoy it, I would wager. So um, I hope you are able to pick some up and give it a try. Well, that's all I have today, guys. I hope you're well, you're blessed, and we'll talk to you very soon.